Stanford University. You know, the secret of success in business is early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. <laughs> you know, that's about as good as there is anything. But, but, but I would recommend, because in a book you can cover it better. That's why I wrote the book. <laughs> That sounds like advertising. And to also, me. I don't have to say the same, the same damn thing over and over again. You know. So let me let me One ask. One of the things we did a lot in television, we had a lot of reruns, and uh, <laughs> when you get over seventy, life just turns into one big rerun. <laughs> So you founded these companies over a period of 30 years. Have the leadership challenges 50 years. 50 years. Have the leadership challenges changed over that time? Uh, no, not really. I don't think. Still pretty much the same thing. Don't forget to advertise. <laughs> Shifting gears then for a sec. <laughs> So in 1998, you founded the UN Foundation with an historic $1 billion donation. What motivated you to make this donation, and why the United Nations? The UN was in a lot of trouble. Uh, they were in financial trouble. And uh, it, this was back before governments bailed out uh, companies. This was a time when companies and individuals bailed out governments. <laughs> and uh, at the UN, the U United States was over a billion dollars in arrears on their dues to the UN, and the UN couldn't pay their peacekeepers. We're the biggest uh, contributor, and we were almost two years behind in, in our payments. And I, it, it drove me crazy, because I, 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 I'm a student of history, and I read a lot when I was uh, younger, studied history very, very carefully, and I don't think we'd be here today without the United Nations. I think the United Nations did, for all the things that it didn't do, and it's not perfect, like our federal government's not perfect, like state government's not perfect, uh, but, but it did, maybe it was luck, but we did prevent World War III. And if we had had a World War III, particularly about the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis, which was the closest we came, um, we'd probably all be dead. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.